Hello guys and welcome back to Ollie's on the Ball. This is my round 12 tips video. Um, this is, after this round we'll be halfway through the season, so... Yeah, halfway, it's hard to believe that we're already halfway through the season, but we are, and you can start in which teams will make finals and which teams will not make finals. Last way, eight out of nine tips, so pretty good. The only one I got wrong, I went with the upset tip Gold Coast and they lost. But I tipped Hawthorne GWS and upsets and they won. Ice calls, two out of nine, not very good. And the two I got were the last two games, so that's not amazing. But we'll move on and get into my round 12 tips and ice First game, Adelaide Oval, 7.30pm Thursday night. Port Adelaide v Carlton. Port Adelaide record 8-3. Last week defeated North Melbourne by 59. I was at that game. If you haven't checked it out, I did put up a vlog. Um, it just filmed quite a lot of clips from while being at that game. Yeah, it wasn't it was actually a pretty interesting first quarter and like good atmosphere. I know there wasn't many people there because no one cares about North Melbourne and Port Adelaide don't have many supporters in Tassie. But it was good atmosphere for the first quarter and then it dropped off and became a pretty boring game. Carlton, seven and four, last week defeated Gold Coast by twenty nine. I didn't watch any of this game because I was um at the Port Adelaide North Melbourne game, but I think it was pretty close, but then Carlton um played better in the last quarter to win comfortably in the end. Um because it's at the Adelaide Oval, I'm gonna go uh the Expected tip, tip port by 17. With my eyes cold, Todd Marshall kicks two plus goals. Next game, Marvel Stadium, 7.40pm Friday. Collingwood v Western Bulldogs. Collingwood 6-2-3. and three. So they're back on equal points. It was last bit they drew to Fremantle. So, yeah, it was a very interesting game. Uh, interesting umpiring decision. That's all I'm going to say. Um, yeah, Collingwood choked in the late, but they're still playing pretty well. And even they've got lots of injuries, though, but it, I still reckon they should make top eight and they should still beat the Bulldogs. Bulldogs 5 and 6 last week lost to Sydney by 14. I didn't watch much, but. I don't think they play. I think they played pretty well, and they had quite a few injuries. Both teams' is injuries. I'm gonna go the safe tip. Tip Collingwood by 27. Is my eyes cold? Collingwood lead or game? Next game, MCG 1:45 p.m. Saturday. Hawthorne v Adelaide. Hawthorne record four and seven. Last week defeated Brisbane by 25. It was a good win. Um. Yeah, Hawthorne are doing exactly what they did last year, not playing well against the sides they should beat, but then getting lots of upsets. Fourth win against the Lions in a row. The Crows, 4-1 and 6, defeated West Coast by 99. Not much to take out of that. I think West Coast are a completely different team outside of WA. Um, I'm going to go... This would be a pretty even tip, um, I reckon, actually. But I'm going to tip Hawks by seven with my Ollie's call that Jack Ch Jack Dunstan kicks two plus goals against his former side. West Coast vs Kilda, 4.35pm Saturday at Optus. Oh, gee, the Saints are terrible. West Coast 3-8 and eight last week, lost to Adelaide by 99. Yeah, shocking performance, but... They still, they're still on their way up. They just need to learn how to play when they're not playing at Optus. Harley Reid still played all right, but they need some others to chip in because he he can't be um, winning every single game for them. St Kilda 3-8. and eight. Last week lost to Melbourne by 38. Oh, my God, St Kilda, we're so bad. Um, There was a good second quarter and a good... First two minutes, and then the rest was all Melbourne. Um, yeah, I reckon West Coast are favourites with this one at Optus. The Saints, this is definitely a danger game for us. So I'm tipping West Coast by 26 with my eyes cold and kill to score less than 65 points. 
Geelong v Richmond at GMHBA. First time in a long time Geelong and Richmond have played at GMHBA, but it wouldn't get a massive crowd. Both these teams uh, lost the last couple of weeks. Geelong 7-4 last week, lost to GWS by four. The real bogey side at GMHBA, GWS, I think it's like four times in a row that um, GWS have beat Geelong at GMHBA. So I don't know what's going on there. GWS may as well play all their home games there. They'll probably still get better attendances than they do at NG. Um... Richmond record one and ten last week lost to Essen by twelve. Put up a pretty good fight, especially for all the injuries they have. They should have a couple back this week though. But Shy Bolton's out, so there's another injury. Um Lynch is still a couple of weeks away, I think. But I'll go the easy tip. I'm tipping Geelong by forty five. And my always call Max Holmes has twenty plus disposals. Next game. Melbourne v Fremantle in Alice Springs, T.O. Traeger Park, 1pm Sunday. Melbourne 7-4 and four, last week, defeated St Kilda by 38. Pretty comfortable win, not much else to say. Um, definitely expected. Um, yeah, Melbourne, this is a big game for them. If they win this, they could break clear of a couple. So they're in a really big pack now from 4th to 8th where there's yeah, there's five teams all on 28 points. So if they lose one, then they're really behind the eight ball. If they win one, then they're really in front. Fremantle, 6-1-4 and four last week, drew to Collingwood. Uh, it was good to salvage a draw from their point of view. Another draw. There's been three draws this year. Um, and they're still in the top eight. I think, no, no, they're on 26 points just outside the eight. So if they could string a couple of wins together in the next few weeks, that would be really crucial. I'm going to go the upset here. I'm going to tip Ferrero by 11. And my Ollie's call, Cosy Pickett kicks two plus goals. Final game of the round because there's buys. Gold Coast Essendon. Gold Coast record six and five. Last week, lost to Carlton by 29. As I said earlier, I didn't watch any of that game because I was at the other game, Port Adelaide North, going on. But I think they put up a decent fight. And then Carlton just ran over the top of them in the last quarter. This would be a really big win for Gold Coast. I don't think they've lost at home or in Darwin all year. So, like... If they can win a couple away, I know this is at home, but win a couple away and then win all the rest at home, they're basically locked in for finals. Is what that's about 14 wins. But yeah, this would be a really big win for Gold Coast. Essen 8 1 and 2 last week to Fair Richmond by 12. Uh, it wasn't the most comfortable win. Definitely a lot closer than most people expected. Good signs for Essen though. Jordan Ridley returning, having 30 disposals and a goal. Nate Caddy make his debut. Um, yeah, this should be a decent game, especially being at people first. I'm going to tip Essen by 22 with my Ollis call. Essen have 25 plus scoring shots. The buyers this week are GWS, Brisbane, Sydney North, so they'll have the week off and be back for next week, the next couple of rounds of buy rounds. Thanks for watching, Eyes on the Ball. Make sure to like and subscribe. Check out the video on screen and see you next time.